What's up guys, this is part two of how to um, make a thumbnail from your Viva video and YouTube Creator Studio. Um, now, part one, I do apologize. I've got kind of, I bounced back and forth between what I wanted to do, but now part two, you already know, I know for a fact what I, what I want to do and what I got to do. So I just had to go upload a video and go through my app, my uh, notes app, set up the description and, you know, put all my links down, copy it and paste it in the description to part one and have all the links in there for, so you can download, you know, YouTube Creator Studio, Mobiles and YouTube, Viva Video, um, all, all that good stuff and all my socials and all that stuff. Um, I have Instagram, but Facebook automatically creates it, so you're probably never going to see anything on my Instagram. I'm not really a social media type person, but if I get bored, I go on Facebook and do a Facebook Live video or whatever. Let's get to the point, guys. We're already in 10 minutes. We're already in 10 minutes. I had to, I had to also clean out through the video, so, you know, just, just overall I had to, because most of my stuff, like 43 things in the studio, and most of them were just thumbnail crap. So let's get it. This is how to take two images put them together and make a thumbnail let's get it um, you're gonna hit slideshow and you're gonna go to I have two images that's gonna work I had to remake my icon too so uh, two images of me with a hoodie so let's use those two good thing I took a picture of them because um, now I can use them. This one and this one. There we go. Hit next. Um, I thought there was a thing on mobiles and what I'm using. It might be because I'm on the LG version. I'm not sure. But I thought there was a thing where when you tap on something, there's like a little white dot to show you where I'm t where I'm tapping at, so you can follow where I'm going. But apparently there's not. So I have no clue. I guess I'm going to have to make this a little smaller, guys. Just got to wait for it. Shut up. Um, okay. I am trying to make this stupid thing smaller. There we go. That way I can, like, move it up here or whatever. Here is what you're going to do finally. You go to theme. Swipe all the way. It's going to automatically put that one... That I had it on there already. Swipe all the way to the left and hit none. That's no no theme at all. That's what it means. Go to edit. Go to clip edit. And uh, go to duration. I mean, you don't only have to change the duration for each of these, but you can if you want. Um, it's not really going to matter anyway. So just keep them on the duration they're at. Hit select. Select all. Hit this little clip button. Hit blur big off. That way, when you connect these two, um, if it was like it was before, the widescreen effect for the thumbnail and all that, all that stuff that goes with it would not add up, so it wouldn't let you do the thumbnail. So just follow my lead, and trust me, it'll work. After this, you hit the check mark, check mark, and um, you're going to hit share and export. Um, I have the free version, so I have to put 480 HP, but... I like this new update on Viva Video where it's going through the little, it uploaded, exported a little too fast for me to explain what was going on, but um, before that update, with that happening when you export, it actually has something for you to look at while you're exporting if there's nothing else for you to do, so I like that effect. Um, you can hit home or result, whichever one. Um, actually, just hit, hit, okay, after you hit that, hit draft. If I just get back, to, you don't really, you can just go back to the home screen, close the video and open it back up. It don't really matter at this point. Go back to your studio and random stuff's going to pop up. So just, just continue on anyway. Um, go to edit. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. My bad. Hit more tools. Oh my God, go away. Come on now. Come on. You, you can't do this to me right now. I'm trying to do something. 
No, go away. Go away. Jesus Christ. My phone's jacked up. It keeps... Oh, I tried to I swipe it. Left. I swipe, and then it takes a touch the screen. I don't know. This phone's jacked up. Anyway, hit more tools. Hit collage, which means together or something like that, whatever. Um, do not use this filter. Swipe to the left, to the right, and use 16.9. That's the widescreen one I use. Now, perfect. Now, whichever image you want on the left, um, here, just follow my lead. Go to my video or recent videos. Hit this one you made. Hit 2.9 for that image, and then you can you can you know go to the left or right. I try to get that little watermark where it says "Made by Viva Video" out the way, so that's gonna be right there. Move this up to, and then hit the same one. This time you're gonna clip the other half. 2.9. The way the face is going that way, you see. Now, what you can do is try to get it where Viva Video thing is not showing up. So that's about best I can do right there. Yep. When you get done right here, when you when you want it like this, or however you want it, do not do not go any further. All you have to do is screenshot, and you are done. Um, just go to your gallery and crop it up where you want it actually you have to crop it up a certain way so it'll it'll fit in your thumbnail thing go to screenshots where you were now you're gonna crop it look at that look at that boom and boom that's cool anyway that's really gonna throw me off look <laughs> there's two of each um anyway you're gonna hit crop not crap but crop uh crop it move this thing out of the way Oh my god, where am I? Okay, this, sometimes you have to touch one of the faces to start cropping. Sometimes you don't, but it's cool, we got it. Cut it about right there. And just keep going with it. I'm trying to move this, not the whole thing. Thank you. Cut it about right there. Sorry, my bad. Just keep going slowly. See if you do it like fast, kind of. Okay, this is too long for a thumbnail, obviously. So what you're going to do is trim it slightly. This should work. If this does not work, I have another way. Now delete that. There is how you do the two image thumbnail. Now you're going to go to Creator Studio. Do I have it open already? No, I don't. I need to go to it real quick. Do, do, do. There it is. Studio. You don't really have to um, download Studio, but I recommend you doing it because it's a lot faster than going on um, the internet or whatever. Look, this is um, in the last month. I only made a dollar and thirty-one cent, and I don't even get that much views. So, you know. Anyway, at this point, you can use any. Uh, I forgot to rechange that thumbnail I made with I, my last part, my part one of this, how to do the single image thumbnail. Um, I forgot to change it to the original thumbnail, so I gotta do that while I'm here. So anyway, any video will work without a thumbnail. You can change it back anytime you want, as long as you still have the, the image on your gallery, it's cool. Hit the pencil thing, marker, whatever you wanna call it, and hit edit thumbnail, custom thumbnail, not this thumbnail. Um, Hit if 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 um remix if um you're not here where you need to be is hit this little three three things that go like that and hit images one more time and then every one of your files on your gallery should show up hit screenshots and there it is it worked guys it's a little bit longer than we needed it but still you can you can still move it to where you want it hit select there you go. Hit save and there you go most of the time I'll be hitting select and not save and like I said in part one and I always mess up but 
recently I've actually been able to prevent that from happening and actually uh, why is this why my head like that whoa I thought it was froze for a second it it's kind of it, it kind of is freezing it's not I don't want it this big but that's cool my head looks funny I don't want there we go there we go perfect nope sometimes some anyway screw it whatever that's how to do a uh, two image thumbnail from Viva video this will kind of you know simplify what the process I go through from doing these thumbnails now there's probably another app I can use but I like going you know all out for you guys it's it's worth my time yeah, I don't really mind at all but I'll you know I rather do it this way because I just just my just what I want to do um, that's all thanks for watching peace out guys and I'll see you in my next video download Mobison download Mobison and the Viva video um, not just for thumbnails but Viva video I've been using this thing for like since 2013 at least and I love it ever I've loved it ever since it always has you know what I need not all the time but most of the time you know most of the time it's got the effects I need for my videos um, the, the title text thingies your fonts like your text for the videos your your filters your uh, transitions all that's all that good stuff peace out download Viva video YouTube Creator Studio, Mobizen, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I have nothing on Instagram except for pictures that it's on Facebook. Facebook created my own Instagram. I didn't really want Instagram, but Facebook kind of just did it by itself. So check those out, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace out.